Hi, hello, it's Anne. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new studio vlog. Today is Sunday, it's November 8th and I have a bunch of exciting stuff going on today. Uh, starting off, it's Father's Day, at least here in Sweden. I know in most of the world it's not, but here it is. So, um, I'm gonna go over to my dad's tonight and have some coffee and just hang out, which is gonna be great because I haven't seen him in a while. Um, and other than that, I have some, some incredible, amazing, inspiring things that I'm gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna be starting off with some polymer clay stuff, which I'm really, 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 really hyped about. I think I told you guys this before. I know for a fact that I told you guys this before, but Artessa sent me a bunch of their polymer clay and I'm gonna do some jewelry and some like little bits and bobs. I figured I'm gonna do some kind of like DIY kind of Christmas gifty type deal. So that's gonna be happening today. I sketched out some ideas on my iPad, which just... <laughs> The whole vibe, I'm loving it. I hope I can interpret it into actually, actually, like, being what I want it to be. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm very excited to be doing polymer clay again, because I haven't done that in years. But I used to, I used to work quite a lot with polymer clay, so, uh, that's like, a little nostalgic for me, which is gonna be really, really exciting. Other than that, I have something that I really, really want to show you guys because the lovely people over at Anna Luisa sent me not one, not two, but three beautiful, beautiful jewelries. Jewelries? Pieces of jewelry. <laughs> uh, I actually ended up choosing three pairs of earrings this time around because it's they're they're so cute. I I can't. <laughs> Um, if you haven't heard about Anna Luisa before, they are a New York based jewelry company which is all focused on being fair and sustainable, which is the absolute coolest if you ask me. Their goal for this year was actually to be carbon neutral by the end of the year and it's November and they already achieved their goal, which is great. Like, I wish that more companies would have the same values and, and efforts that this company does because they are amazing. They have amazing quality jewelry with fair prices and obviously being the month of November, you know Black Friday is happening. So if you're interested, you should go check out their Black Friday sale, which is happening on their website. I'll have it linked up here and down here and maybe it's the other way around here or here. Either way, I'll have a link in the description box down below and I'll have it in the little information bubble. Whichever corner that, that's at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, that made such a mess. <sighs> I made the biggest mess. Um, I need a vacuum cleaner. That's a bummer. Yeah, okay. I forgot where I was at, but um, <laughs> you should check out Ana Luisa if you haven't already, and I will link them in the description box down below, and without further ado, I'm gonna get going with my day, because I have a bunch of stuff that I really, really want to do, and I'm very excited about it. So, here we, here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. How... How cute is that? Oh, I love it. As per usual, I want to be transparent with you guys and obviously Anna Luisa sent me these pieces, but I'm not sponsored. I'm not paid to say anything. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not affiliated. Like if you shop through the link down below, it's like I'm, I'm not getting a dime off of that. So just know that I am recommending these to you because I genuinely, genuinely love this company. Like, can you look? How cute is that? It's so cute. I love it. I love it. Look at it. <laughs> I'm really, really excited. So cute. 
Okay, so here's the dealio. I was planning on posting the Paul and Mary Clay video a couple of days ago. <laughs> I was planning on posting it on Friday, but obviously that didn't happen. So because of the stuff that I talked about in my previous vlog, the video on Friday just didn't happen. So I am going to see if I can film that, edit it, do all the uh, the whole shebang and then post it today which is kind of uh, you know reaching for the stars a little bit but we'll see if i can actually make that happen i probably won't but i can try and that's what i'm gonna be doing so before i get going i just want to say big big thank you to everyone who commented in my last video and just being so super duper kind and supportive it's <sighs> i'm so lucky to have you guys and i just want to say thank you and that i really really appreciate you so yeah i just want you guys to know that so yeah okay i'm gonna i'm gonna get going okay bye this video contains content that some might find disturbing your discretion is advised no one really knows how people sleepwalk. It was once thought people were acting on autopilot. Thursday and I <sighs> after the last clip you guys saw which I'm pretty sure was the Artessa unboxing I, st I started making stuff with the polymer clay and <sighs> my wrist has been an absolute mess ever since and it's it's been a mess for, for longer than that but it just set off this spiral of pain and I have not been able to to do anything. It was a mistake trying to make such big pieces I think. I think I need to work smaller like not to strain my hand too much so oh, that's the new plan. Uh, today I have a day off and I've kind of taken a me day like a mental health day I don't know <laughs> like uh, just a taking care of myself day. So I slept in this morning and then I've been walking Napoleon a butt load, like a lot. <laughs> so we've been outside in in the fresh air and just just having a good time together. And I went to get some blood work done today at the doctor's office and now I'm back home and it's 7 30. I don't know where the heck this day went, but it's okay because I needed to rest. So what I've, I'm gonna be doing is that I am gonna work on this painting because I really want to finish it this week if possible. It's probably like a far stretch, but <laughs> uh, I want to get it at least close to done this week. Um, it's a commission for a friend and they don't need it until Christmas, but I still want to like I want to get it done so that I, I can focus on other things and also so that they can feel like, you know, they've uh, got the Christmas present sorted, so to speak. Um, but yeah, other than that, <laughs> I completely forgot to tell you guys this, but I told you in my last vlog that I am doing a Christmas fair on December 6th. And that ended up being cancelled because of COVID. It's 
Wave number two is happening in Sweden right now and everything is getting cancelled again. So that was cancelled and part of me was like, okay, so then I don't have to stress with making product because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have anywhere to sell the product, you know? So <laughs> I I stopped making products for for the Christmas fair and then I stumbled upon this other Christmas fair which is happening outside and it's all like COVID managed, you know, they're they're taking all the necessary precautions. So, you know, unless nothing else drastic happens between now and then, uh, that's gonna be happening. But it's happening the week before, so it's the 29th, 28th, 29th. I think <laughs> and now I'm standing here and it's like the 12th already and I am I don't have any products <laughs> so I need to kind of gear up a little bit and just get all of that sorted because I'm doing three designs for Christmas cards I'm also gonna be doing some stickers I'm also gonna be doing uh, a bunch of ceramic ornaments, which I'm very excited about. <gasps> oh, oh, ceramics! Wait, <laughs> I'll I'll show you guys closer looks in just a sec. But I have my very first batch of finished ceramics, which I'm very very excited about. Um, but I'm doing a bunch of ceramic ornaments, and I have my marzipan figurines that I'm gonna have to be working on like this week um, but the main thing that I need to get done is the things that I'm sending off to be printed because that's gonna take longer to produce obviously because it's done like not by me it's done somewhere else so I need to focus on this week I need to get all of the Christmas card designs and the stickers done so I can send that off to the print shop and yeah I I I, I had a train of thought but it's gone and now I want to show you my ceramics so uh, the very very first thing that I ever did was this sorry I, I had to go get a board um, okay so the very very first thing that I ever did was this mug and we don't have a we don't have a turntable yet but it's 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 happening it needs to be like renovated it needs it needs some touch-ups because it's it's out of order right now so this one is actually made with like taking snakes of clay and just like rolling it on top of each other basically and just blending everything together and i love the texture that i put on it because at first I'm getting like out of breath, I don't know why. <laughs> At first I tried to make it like smooth and then I realized that I'm not gonna get it smooth like you would if you were to like throw it on like a turntable. So I decided to just embrace the texture and I freaking love it. Like look at this, <gasps> it's so pretty and I love it. I love the glaze, I love the colors, I love... I love I love everything. I love the handle. It's so stinking cute. I can't. I can't. Um, the next thing that I did was was using another technique and this is how that turned out. It's not perfect in the glaze right here, so you can see. But that's okay, because it's it's my very first glaze. This was my trial one because I was too nervous to dip the other one because that one took way longer to do. <laughs> but yeah, it's so cute. It's so cute. <gasps> so the next thing that I did was I made a bunch of like little ornaments and stuff that I'm going to be putting like silk ribbon in. So I have a little squirrel. If it can maybe focus. There you go. I have a squirrel. Please excuse my nails. They are disgusting. And then I have a moose which is a little bit beat up on one of the horns but that's also okay because this is my learning curve okay <laughs> and then i have a couple of foxes 
focus hello there you go <gasps> so cute so cute so that's my very very first batch of actually like finished ceramics which is like <sighs> it's so inspiring because like when i saw these so yeah i got them on monday and they got fired and and i saw like the actual finished product and it just inspired me so much that i created like i was so productive on monday it was insane i've never done that many things in one sitting ever <laughs> um so i'm very excited to see how how those turn out when they're they've been fired also because yeah there's a bunch of like experimental stuff in there so yeah i'm excited um i'm completely off topic i've been rambling about the ceramics but that's just because they're they're my passion okay <laughs> they're my passion project and i love it so so much um okay yeah i am gonna get going on the base layer here because i'm still not happy with the base on this painting and that needs to dry before i can do the sketch so i'm gonna start with that and while that base coat is drying I am gonna be sketching out the Christmas card designs. Yep, okay, that sounds like a plan. I shall see you guys in a little bit. Okay, bye. Hi, hello. It's Saturday and I just unboxed the October Smart Art box. I was planning on including that unboxing in this vlog, but then I had so much to say about it <laughs> that I decided to just 
it's it's gonna have to have its own video because this vlog is gonna go on for for like an hour if it doesn't <laughs> so yeah today is saturday i've been working and then i got home and i walked napoleon in the rain hence my appearance uh <laughs> and then i came home and i unboxed the smart art box and when i was pretty much done unboxing and swatching i something happened and the file was corrupt and i could not use it so that was a bummer um so i spent like an hour unboxing and filming and then not being able to use any of that footage which was very annoying very very annoying um but i refilmed it i decided to just talk about all of the products and what was in it and what i thought about it and and apparently i have a lot to say about a lot of things so <laughs> um yeah here we are i figured while i have this whole setup going i am gonna show you guys what i've been working on for the past few days um so I know that I showed you like bits and pieces of these. So these are gonna be the the greeting cards for the Christmas market. Um, so I have this little pine cone. I did this on Thursday, I believe, the day before yesterday. And then yesterday I worked on this. And I am so freaking in love with this little guy. He's such a cutie patootie. Just look at him. <gasps> so cute um and i was actually gonna do just these guys these guys together and um then i was gonna do a third one which was gonna be one of the toadstools not not this one in particular but looking at them side by side i feel like this is too cartoony these are still like semi-realistic, um, just a bit stylized. So I think either I'm gonna scrap this idea completely, or I'm gonna um, I'm gonna redo it in more of a um, like a little bit more realistic -y style. Because I really, really love how this guy turned out and this one. And a few weeks back. I was working on this little bird in in gouache and I abandoned him because I was not liking the way this turned out like I, I'm not liking it at all um, so this guy is never ever being finished but um, I think I'm gonna try to redraw him using like these techniques so um, instead of using gouache, I'm gonna be using my Tombow Furunosuke for the outlines, and then I'm gonna be using watercolors. Um, I am back on the watercolor train. Um, I've been definitely, like, b b b fa favorizing? Is that, is that even a word? I've, I've been using a lot of gouache lately. It's been, like, my, my go-to medium lately, but, um, I'm, I'm, gravitating more towards watercolors now again so um yeah i think i'm gonna try to recreate that little guy in watercolors i think that's gonna be really cute um so yeah that's happening and um i'm i love this guy he's such a cutie <laughs> um okay yeah that was pretty much everything that i wanted to say to you guys i think Okay, so I have this sneaking suspicion that this vlog is probably already really, really long. And and I kind of want to start editing. So I think I'm, I'm going to call it. I think this is going to be it. Um, yeah, again, uh, Anna Luisa Jewelry, they have the cutest sustainable things. Uh, if you're interested, they're having their Black Friday sale. Uh, so yeah, go check them out if you feel inclined to. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day or night or evening or whatever it is as you're watching this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and happy arting. <sighs> okay.